<laughs> that would be kind of cool. Jimmy Hart, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this Jackie, Jacqueline, the next inductee into the 2016 Hall of Fame. Um, again, of course. Deserving. Maybe the least deserving of the people... Well, no, no, we'll get to somebody. Jackie deserves it because during the height of the Divas thing where Sonny and Sable were getting all the press, um, Jackie came out there and kicked butt and won the Women's Championship. And after that, she lasted longer than, I think, Sable and Sunny, and she was still kicking butt with Trish and Tori. She, like, evolved. She was an amazing wrestler. I remember back when she was a manager in WCW, just beating Disco Inferno up and beating a whole bunch of people up as Kevin Sullivan's manager. And then coming into WWE, like I said, um, former women's champion and consummate professional. Never heard anything bad about her. Um, a Texan, just like Stan Hansen. <laughs> and um, Big Boss Man's from Georgia. And so are the Freebirds. Interesting. But yeah, Miss Jackie uh, probably deserves to be in. Like we said, professional. Part of that big divas boom where you had Lita, Jackie, Trish, Tori. And she was before that, even with Sonny and Sable, and she was in there. Uh, she went to TNA after, but she was mostly a valet, I think. I don't remember wrestling that much in TNA. It's probably why she didn't want to be there for very long. But she was kind of cool with the Cowboy James Storm. That was a nice pairing. WWE won't talk about it, but it was a nice pairing. Um, who's going to induct her? They probably don't want Sonny to induct her. That would probably be bad. Um, probably don't want Sable to induct her. Miss Jackie. Kevin Sullivan? That would be kind of cool. Mark Mara would be kind of cool. Um, I suppose Tori Wilson or Trish Stratus. One of them. One of them would be kind of cool. One of the divas or one of the guys that she managed. Definitely. Uh, like I said, Freebirds. The Fabulous Freebirds. Another WWE Hall of Fame induction 2016. Long overdue. Unfortunately, Terry Gordy and Buddy Roberts have passed away. But Jimmy Jam Garvin and Michael P.S. Hayes are there. <laughs> I wonder if Big Daddy Dink and Diamond Dallas Page could induct them because he was kind of part of the group there for a minute. Or, um, oh boy. Kevin Von Erich? Kevin Von Erich, yeah. The Von Erich that's still alive. Either one of them would kind of make sense. Like I said, long overdue. Their rivalry with Von Erichs was amazing. They were, like, one of the reasons people watched the Texas wrestling scene. With Von Erichs and the Freebirds, it was amazing. WCW, they did pretty go good as well. In that incarnation with Jimmy Jam Garvin and Michael P.S. Hayes. Um, but definitely it's mostly because of the Texas wrestling with Von Erich's Freebirds legendary stiff brawls, wars, and yeah, it's legendary. Hall of Fame status, Hall of Fame worthy. And want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Nope. One of the last inductions so far. That we know about is Charles Roy, aka the Godfather, aka Papa Shango, aka Kama Mustafa, aka just Kama the Supreme Fighting Machine, aka the Good Father. <laughs> He's had so many incarnations. He left under good terms. I don't remember him going anywhere else. I think he just retired. He was like a lifer with WWE. He kept coming back and he kept being awesome at these characters that they kept asking him to be. Of course, the Godfather, former Eric Collins champion, and he's just legendary 
from being in that Attitude Era um, where, you know, I remember sponsors and people throwing a fit that the pimp godfather was like in the opening match of Raw, so they tried to push him back, but that didn't last long. He went back up to the start of Raw. He was popular. Everybody come aboard the Hoo Train. He had a crowd chanting Hoo Train. He had a crowd chanting Light That Fatty Up <laughs> for this pimp daddy. It was amazing. Amazing. Um He's, he might be the least worthy, him or Jackie, but he's still worthy. But I'm saying the least worthy of being in the Hall of Fame, considering all the others, all the other greats that deserve to be in that still aren't in. Um, congratulations to all the inductees that I said. Godfather, Charles Wright, Jackie, the Freebirds, Stan Hansen, Big Boss Man, Sting. All incredible. But um, let's not forget about Ravishing Rick Rude, uh, the British Bulldog, David Boy Smith, Owen Hart. Obviously, they've all passed away, but they all deserve a place. Honky Tonk Man, to my knowledge. Demolition. I mean, some of these guys may have said something that made Vince McMahon mad, but all these guys... Deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. So let's try to get Brian Pillman, even maybe. I mean, a lot of these guys deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. If Coco Beware and the Bushwhackers can be in the Hall of Fame, Jake the Snake, Ravishing, oh, Jake the Snake is in, Ravishing Rick Rude, Honky Tonk Man, The British Bulldog, David Boy Smith, Owen Hart, Demolition, they all deserve to be in there too. So, get on, WWE. So, that's my thoughts for the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2016. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to get my computer fixed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. Give me your thoughts down below. What do you think? Who Do you think they're all deserving? Do you think anybody else deserves it? It's in Texas. Going down April 2nd, the Hall of Fame ceremony.